XOXO, XOXO, my love is very special. You want it, can have it, but don't take me for granted. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> Hi guys, it's your girl XOXO here, and welcome back to like, you know, another little sim session. So, listen, guys, I've had one of those weeks, you know, like my week week has been, was like a lot, and I just wanna, and, and I love that I have these sims that I could escape into. So right now, what I what I want to get into is that I want to give Rhaenyra the life that I I I really I, I wish she chose, you know, um, and but like after the events of season two, okay. So this will contain spoilers to the series House of the Dragon. So it's kind of like, this is gonna be like a House of the Dragon kind of like video, and I don't know why because it's like I love House of the Dragon and yeah, and this is this is what I want to do right now, and I was gonna do this in my modded saves, guys, but um my modded save i was having i was having like the save the save the loading screen was taking forever and i said you know what let me come back to vanilla vanilla is peaceful now of course you know i do have the lashes in the game but the lashes are kind of broken right now um but there's no the only cc that i do have is cc by sentit because um they made a they have, they have a new like where is it do i not have mods wait just now Game options, other, yeah. Where my custom? Co oh, why is it on a masculine? Is that what she prefers? Let's see. Clothing preference, feminine. Can I become pregnant? Uh, yeah. No. Oh, so what was that? Okay, that was weird. But anyway, while we're here, um, let's give it like she's interested in men and women, of course, because you know Rhaenyra is Rhaenyra. Um, is Shakespeare romantically? Yes. She's interested in Vuku with both men and women, of course. Um, romantic boundaries is, um, the sim, the sim feels jealous of any rom romantic partner engages in non-physical romance. I don't think so. I think she's a very, like, open and liberal kind of person. Um, the sim feels jealous. No. And, um, the sim's jealousy triggers can change by talking with other sims. Um... Would she feel jealous if a, if a partner was with anyone else? Like, okay, get, like, let's be real. Like, when she was with um, Great Bones, right? Um, how and Strong. I'm sure he was sleeping with other women. Like, you know, now I know I'm like skipping like way ahead, guys. But if y'all, y'all would notice if y'all watch like House of the Dragon before or House of the Dragon season one or two. This is not like a review or anything. This is just me bragging on a show that I love. <laughs> or just like, like, just, just, just totally gabbing about it and just talking about it because I love it and. I think it gets so much hate when sometimes it's like, it's like, it's like, uh, don't, don't you see what they're trying to do? Now I understand when I said the season, season two um, finale was anticlimactic. It was, it was. They were trying to, to kind of like recapture Game of Thrones season six energy with Daenerys going to the, um, with Daenerys like leaving Essos to come to Westeros. They were trying to do that, but it's like, that was after six seasons. Like, y'all can't do that in season two. Like, what are y'all doing? <laughs> like, please, leave, like, no. Um, well, okay, so, uh, I just went off on a whole tirade there. But would she be jealous if, yes, I, no, I don't think she'd be jealous. So she's not a jealous person, right? So, all right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like, no, they're gonna be living in Sulani, right? So, um, because they're palace. So, oh, okay, you know what? No. All right, no, I'm skipping ahead, I'm skipping ahead. Okay, so in this life, Unfortunately, Bryant Targaryen does not exist. And like, <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm sorry, Bryant. Like, this is like, I am making, I am doing Rhaenyra in the, in the season two finale, right? Alison came to Rhaenyra. I'm gonna add her from the gallery. Oh, because by the way, this sim Rhaenyra, I got her from the gallery through Cupid's Corner when I was playing with my XOXO, um, with my XOXO people. Like my Sims Cell series for Love Struck. Um, what, what, what the heck is going on here? Um, 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 no, households, households. Right, so I got a Rhaenyra from like, um, Katie, ECD, but this person, this god, kind of re uploaded Rhaenyra in this stage, but the original creator is Katie, C Katie CD. So, yeah. So, um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in the gallery and I'm going to look for Alessant and Helena. Because I'm, 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 in the finale, right? Um, Alessant and Helena, 
Alessandra and Helena can like Alison asks Helena, you know, if you want to leave this place. And then in this finale, she asks Renera to like come away with me. So I'm like, okay, so I'm gonna give them the love affair of their life. Like in Essos. Well, Sulani, you know? <laughs> so instead of going to Essos, they came to Sulani, all right? Like, you know, Alison Tai Tower. Hi Tower. Oh my gosh. I should put Queen Alison. Oh. Oh, okay, so this. Okay, this not this not. So this some kinda really looks like her. Oh how nice! Okay, so I'm I'm adding her. So send me to library. And I wanna place her. Now guys, I'm not looking for accuracy here because I'm not very good at like making sense. I think this is like a good representation of olivia cook except it's like i like my i like my sims with like huge doll eyes i don't know why it's a thing but olivia cook is gorgeous and i love the hair color and everything and the fact that she's wearing the queen's outfits so let's see her outfits right is she like a young adult or an adult i'll probably have to make her an adult because helena is her daughter so let's just make her an adult but she's still i mean and i'm gonna do rhaenyra as well rhaenyra oh i can't change it rhaenyra Darn. Oh no. Why? Is she pregnant? Okay, I can't edit pre existing Sims. Okay, hold that thought. Yeah, so he was saying. So, um. <laughs> so, right, so now Renira is an adult. You know, she's a bit older. She's been through some things. And if y'all know, again, spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. I'm sorry, guys. This, it, it's, it's just gonna be. Um. Oh, I should say spoiler warning, right? Now, after the incident, Rhaenyra has gone through a lot of losses and stuff. So I think she like actually decides to wear more blacks, right? But with the occasional pop of red. So that's what I'm thinking. She oh, she's going to be. Wait, I can't. Oh, I can't change the necklace. You know what? That's fine. And I do want to change Rhaenyra's hair as well, because I'll be like she'll be less um. Let's see, because I found like the more like the more she gets into her zone, she gets more like braided up. So let's see what braids she'll get into. Aww. but her hair will be long. Let me see what other braids do they have. Oh my goodness! Let's see, let's see. Oh my gosh! Oh, we can do this. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of Rainis a little bit. Yeah, and I think she'll do that to like honor Rainis. And she'll get in some earrings, some jeweled earrings. Oh my gosh. Rhaenyra. <laughs> Sorry. I just really like Rhaenyra. I just think that she's like a really interesting character. Like, she's... It's like she was raised in a certain way and she kind of resents that, you know? Because if she wasn't a girl... She, nobody would have challenged her, you know? So anyway, we go to Alison. And I think, I, I, I wish we had more colors in this. Because to me, Alison went back to more, um, I think she just didn't want any more queenly responsibilities. So they're not like, she's still not the queen over here, but it's like, there are two queens that, that, that just don't want to be queens. But not any traditional way. But I'll get more into that, like, you know, but <laughs> I just want to give them this life. Like, okay, no, just now. I want Alison to wear, there's a dress that I wanted to wear. And I can't remember which pack it came from. Oh, I think it's the, oh, this is nice though. Because she started to wear like more lighter colors later on. Because I guess she just wanted to like, because remember she wore the green at Rhaenyra's wedding to kind of show fierce allegiance to her, like, um, to, to her side. And so she's not a Targaryen. She would never be, but she would definitely be um, a high tower forever. And I'm like, girl, just relax. You love that girl, and you're jealous that she's getting married to some, <laughs> to some man. Okay, so I think she would get if she would get into like this. Oh, so this was the outfit. But I kind of want to save this. I kind of want to save this for something else. But I do want it like a nice dress, like a nice. Oh, this is pretty. Aww. Oh, this one too. This one is very nice as well. Like, I think she'd wear, like, lighter, lighter, lighter colors. Because she kind of wants to pur pur purify herself from all the crimes that she's committed. You know? <laughs> I mean, I mean, they've all committed crimes. They've all committed crimes. Right? Let's be real. Let's be real about this. Um. Okay, so... Yeah, I think that's it. Or would she get to be, like, sanctified? 
Oh, because she'll definitely be wearing more blues. Oh, I actually like this. I think that she'll be sanctified because she'll be trying to sanctify herself from what she did with Kristen Cole. Okay. So, yeah. You know what? Let me... Um, oh, I love that we have this. So, apply this to um, formal... No, not formal. Not formal. Athletic sleep parties from where hot weather, cold weather. Because, I mean, it's Sulani, right? Oh, not swimmer, because swimmer will be something else. So, for formal, oh, she doesn't even need lashes, though, for real. Look at her. Actually, she does have the lashes, that's fine. So, for formal, I do want her in the dress I said I was going to come back to. Let's go to long dresses. Um, I wanted her to. It was this one, right? Oh, is this one right so i wanted this dress for her wedding this teal blue with this gold is everything let's get her some shoes let's get her some like what shoes do you to wear like some lace-ups oh and definitely some stockings because it's like medieval times right lacy leggings <laughs> let's give her these stockings yeah let's give her that and for the shoes um oh my gosh no let's just give her shoes that like she would not wear normally like these <laughs> i mean red sulani okay it's a different culture you're dressed differently across there okay yeah that's the excuse so we're gonna give her oh no let's give her some cute ringlets and curls isn't it a hairstyle but with, with like a little thing in the back here yeah oh this is gorgeous too look at her isn't she pretty guys I feel like I'm dressing dressing her for the eventual wedding that I know I'm going to have. I just know myself. So, like, why stop yourself when you know yourself completely? <gasps> oh, my gosh. Yes. Look at this. Stop it. Y'all. Y'all. Oh, my. She looks so regal. Okay, we're definitely, definitely having a wedding now. Um, But it's like, do I cheat their relationship, right? Like, I don't want to cheat. I don't. I mean, I do. And I am. I'm going to justify it. So I don't know why I'm pretending. <laughs> I'm going to justify me, my cheatation. No, we're not going to do the full on. We're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. I'm going to use this again because I really like this earring. And it matches the hair. Okay, it just, it, it just goes. Okay, girl. All right. So <laughs> she doesn't do sports. Um, sleepwear. I'm going to change it to this in blue. Uh, queen. Because she's a queen. Because she is a motherfucking queen. Like, I know y'all... I know y'all hate on Alison, right? But Alison's actress is acting her ass off. Like, she is so good at being the self-righteous little bitch. And then in season two, she had the self-righteousness, right? And then she realized, well, oh, I fucked up. Like, I really... I, I messed up so bad. Like, I really should have not done anything it was completely wrong to try to steal my bet first of all okay she she married the she married the girl's father like that's the first thing like this is my this is your bestie and you married her father like gross right that that's number one number one then after all of these years you will now persecute her for having sex <laughs> that you i mean i mean yes your life was unpleasant but you literally persecuted this girl because you were jealous of her. Like, how lame is that shit? Okay, so anyway, so let's get let's get to her sexual orientation. Oh, this is romantically attracted to none. So she knows she's romantically attracted to women. Um, she's not exploring romantically, and she's interested in sim in who who with women. That's to me, Alison is like a repressed lesbian. Like, like let's be real. And then I mean, she was literally sold and used as a political pawn. So she tried to like assert her power wherever she can, and she had it. And she used the tools that she had so she is a totally sympathetic character where is that listen this is a story with no good sides because viserys if we have to go back to like viserys the king not doing anything to bolster his daughter to be the queen so nobody would uncheck her and he just he just he he signed he signed her in here up for like well shit anyway i'm getting i'm getting upset i'm getting upset <laughs> i'm getting upset so bad like oh my god so anyway um all right so to me alison will feel jealous if you know she'll feel jealous of everything She's not really here for like, she wants Rhaenyra. And the fact that Kristen Cole had Rhaenyra, but not Alicent, it's like, it's like, honestly, Kristen Cole's and Alicent's relationship were like a proxy for each other. They were both like, our only connection really is Rhaenyra. So, especially their sexual connection. 
so right now after she has a successful lineage um because can they both like adopt children maybe we can adopt bryant oh you know what i, I maybe i shouldn't have killed bryant deleted bryant i mean i shouldn't have deleted bryant because um they could they could have been his adopted son their adopted son oh darn i'm sorry bryant um okay so <laughs> i'm sorry so that's the successful lineage because you know what she wants to be more there for her children i mean her children that are not that are still alive and that would be helena so i'll be bringing helena along right um Alison is good. Um, is she good? Uh, she's proper, yes. She's family oriented. Is she good? No, she's not good. She's. Uh, it's either ambitious or like uh, hot headed. Uh, childish. Oh, you know what? I want to give her. So I want to give her romantically reserved. Um, I can if there's nothing better. So she's a materialistic is she an overachiever perfectionist no i don't think that suits alicent right generous um she's loyal she's jealous yeah we could do jealous yeah she could be jealous we could give her that still and she wants to have a successful lineage right so oh do we want to get no i'm not gonna do that like it's not gonna happen um oh i probably could i was gonna give her the love bug tree the love bug thing like, but I don't really care about that. Like, I don't really care about aspirations this time around. I'm just like, whatever. So I guess I could give her love stuff then. Um, You know what? Yeah, because they're on this new journey together. She wants to see what love is, what true love is, you know? Because she knew she had it and then she lost it and she lost Rhaenyra. Um, For Nira, oh, she's a serial romantic. I don't think she is. I mean, after dating your 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 husband your brother husband like oh yeah so so this Rhaenyra is like okay so for for a while she's gonna be wearing red I love this hair I love everything she's wearing actually no wait I actually had a dress for her oh my gosh I actually put Cece in the game because <laughs> I wanted to give her like a look oh do, ooh, yes Rhaenyra or do we want it in full-on red I mean she's still a Targaryen right and then there's this one which i adore oh oh it's this one it's this one for sure oh rhaenyra <laughs> sorry i just love to say i just love to say her name like that rhaenyra <laughs> oh my goodness okay so for rhaenyra i want an updo but i want like a like something queen queenly like this why doesn't this have updated hair oh no it still has like the like you see how much more swatches this has to this girl that's that's an oversight uh this game this game you all let me just get my get rhaenyra's hair color back huh i don't know so for formal hair right i've used that so what about this one So I like it. Not really. And I wish you could change the colors of these things. Because I like this hair, right? But I don't, it doesn't match, it doesn't go. Ugh. <laughs> oh, not the Judith Ward, no. <laughs> no. <sighs> no. No, 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 no. So this set is kind of like set, like, um, before the war even start and like basically Aegon, like Rhaenyra, um, Rhaenyra crowns her son, Prince Jaceris, as the new ruler. He's the king now and Aegon and Aemon are, are no more. So in that's my fantasy reality life. And then they, they flee to Essos together. You know, they, they exile themselves to Essos. Well, not really exile, but you know, like, 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 you know what I mean? Like they, they, they now live in Essos. Oh, this is pretty. Oh. Oh, so nice. Okay, so which one do we like? Do we like this one? Or do we like this one with the braid? I think this one with the braid is 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 very pretty. And it's like, oh, and I love her earrings and stuff. So we're gonna leave that. Alright, girl. So you look you look gorgeous. Let's see, what's her right? She has wiggled way. Okay, cool. I'm not really gonna change her hair or anything. Oh. oh I'll just copy. Okay. Alright, I guess I like this party wear. Where are her shoes? 
she wear boots yeah and she has this okay cool hot weather no that's the long dresses and let's do something I mean <laughs> we're in Essos right? we're in Essos that's all I'm saying it's, like <laughs> it's different fashions over here okay all right what oh, here I'm gonna give her oh I said I was gonna do the whole so we most likely would never see this so I'm not even gonna bother so her, her main hairstyle I'm gonna copy it to athletic sleep party swimwear hot and cold weather yes lovely oh she's so nice okay so now i'm gonna get um helena right so i wanted to be like where alicent and they are like um their partners so they're together but they're not like engaged yet you know and i want their romance dynamic to be unpredictable yeah i want it to be unpredictable because it's like one minute it could be hot one minute it could be cool so to me rhaenyra is a bit she is a bit self-absorbed is she a snob kind of but mm, okay so to me she's family oriented but mm, i'll go in snob socially awkward um ambitious gloomy is she romantically reserved huh yeah because she feels a bit you know like uh -huh. let's see yeah i want to let me see let me play with this let me play with this one because i want to see like how this this trade operates because right now i'm playing with the other one the love bug trait so yeah and i feel Vernira would be a bit romantically reserved because she would feel like she would have to still be you know a bit more because her her sexuality kind of got her in trouble like so she's like in a way she's kind of developed this like she has to be a certain kind of way to be respected kind of thing i don't know it's like a weird it's a weird thing and to me is she mean a party member she's not proper um but she is self-absorbed and she is childish gloomy she could be a bit childish y'all like for real like she could like she could like she <laughs> But no, she'll be paranoid because I know that after a while she became paranoid after the after everything happened. So now, guys, we are going to find. Oh, I didn't say who um who Alison was made by. This uh this Alison was made by Natasha O five, right? So let me yeah Natasha O five, and let's look for um Helena Helena Targaryen Targ. Oh my gosh. How do you spell that? T H E Helena Targaryen. Um, let's just let's just look. For, I can't spell. I can't spell Targaryen right now. <laughs> Tag Targaryen. <laughs> I can't spell. I can't spell right now. <laughs> oh my goodness. No, I want it to be. Okay, so I think it's. Oh my gosh, that is not Helena. Okay, let's go. Helena Targ Garion. Huh. Oh no. Um let's hashtag hot D. If not, I'll have to make up from scratch because I just um I don't know. Okay. This is Rhaenyra. And what else? See? No, 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 don't go, don't go. Oh, goodness. What happened there? Hot. Hot D. When I tell you my computer is moving, that this game is moving so annoying uh, since after the update. And I'm like, no. Okay. So I kind of might have to put. Let's see. Emma. Oh, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Okay, now. Oh, okay. I want to get 
Helena. Huh? <laughs> okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Because how this game move in, I am going to make Helena a Targaryen princess. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, we could we could do something with her. No, she's a princess Alison. No, we no. A Valerian Duchess. Yes. Listen, I would love to do like a whole Game of Thrones like full on vanilla series. Like that's what I'm thinking about right now. Because yeah. So here's what we're gonna do. We are going to make um we're gonna play with genetics and we're gonna make Alison's um Helena, Alison's daughter. So it's her child, right? And we're gonna, um, you know, this is actually like a pretty good start. Let's um pick you. Hi, Tower. No, it's gonna be Helena. <laughs> Helena. Um, Targaryen. Listen, if it no, it's Targaryen. Whatever, whatever it is, it, <laughs> it's that. Okay. So I wanna let her her hair be like. Of course, she'll have the icy blonde hair. It'll be long. And oh, she looks so nice. But her eyes, because Junior's it will be book accurate, which will be oh, what are these eyes? Okay, but her eyes will be like yeah, like like violets, right? And they're like big doll eyes too. Um, no, no, don't do that. Okay, all right. Now the actress who plays Helena. Like she's just I don't know I don't know like she's such a gorgeous girl no but she has a different nose than this like it's not like that I don't know it's like and she's so like she plays Helena so well like okay it's like this is this is just how this is just how it is like this is this is just how it is and she's accepted that which is it's 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 what's what's I'm looking for like you know it's like um. This looks nothing like the killer. <laughs> By the way, I'm just I'm just bad at making Sims, y'all. Like, <laughs> I'm just, I can't even begin to try. I don't know how people go in, and I know they sculpt, and I know they do all kinds of things, and I'm just like, okay, I can't do all of that. So I'm just gonna like, I'm just gonna like um move the face around until I'm satisfied. But I I honestly don't know the kind of <laughs> it's the kind of Sim I'm trying to make <laughs> because it's like I don't know. She has like really nice cheekbones. She's she's just. She has such an ethereal looking face. But it's also very round and pretty. She kind of looks like a bird. She's just, she's beautiful, like, you know? In like a non conventional but conventional way. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just having like a really, I'm, I'm having a nice time doing this. That's all. That's all. I'm just, it's just the ramblings of, of a girl that likes, that likes nerdy shit <laughs> and fantasy stories. <laughs> And the correct the character development as well. Like that's what it is. Okay, so this kind of reminds me of her hair in the finale. Yeah. And I like this top actually. So I kind of want to like see. Um, because the way I think she would fully like embrace the culture of the place that they're in, and not try to hold on to what she was before. You know. So everybody knows. Oh no, she's not a she's an, a young adult. So. Yeah, she's a young adult. Yeah. So she's gonna have like her arms out and stuff and would she keep the color green i'm not sure i think she'll adopt blue like her mother or maybe even yellow but she's pale like what color would she wear white because she's the purest of us all yes the most good and the most pure like she is such a good queen like i will do the we'll do the little greens in these skirts or the blue for her mother or the yellow like, i really like the pink i really like the pink for her but yeah let's do pinks and these shoes these shoes are like everything and i've never used this before let's do that oh helena and then no then i need to change her hair to kind of be more like a like with more like braids or let's see huh oh <laughs> Yo, yes, I love, I love, no, I love this for Helena. That she has fully embraced Sulani culture. Um, that's what, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it, right? Yes, 
yes girl so let's copy let's copy um I'm not giving all of them outfits right now because I'll be in here forever, like forever in a day. And I just really kind of want to just get into gameplay. Um, so let's change this to like every athletic sleep. What a goal. Yes. Oh, I just did the top. Oh man, yeah. So let me do the skirt now. No, don't do that. I wish you could just copy the entire outfit. I mean, I guess this is better than what it had. So let's do formal athletic sleep. What a goal, right? It's beautiful. And then we're gonna do shoes. Um from a... right. Cool, nice. So even even if I have to change some of these clothes, if we if we are having a wedding, guys, wink wink. Right? So let's just do copy. Um from a sleep. Hot and cool. Yes, beautiful. Okay, Helena. <laughs> now Helena has um she her thing is to me um being out in nature i think she'd want to like you know plant some flowers oh yeah i don't know or maybe oh wait no she's a witch basically so she could be the purveyor of potions even though i'm not good um is there another thing with the witch coven um how much um aspirations did that come with um okay knowledge She's a spellcraft. Okay, no. She'll do the spellcraft, spellcraft and sorcery. So the first thing we need to know about Helena is that she is... Uh, and why do I feel this is going to be like an LP for Helena? <laughs> oh, I love this. Okay, just now. Um, um, she is... Uh, oh gosh, where is it? It's like... Is... What is... Y'all know what I'm thinking about, right? She is... Oh my goodness. Ugh. Y'all. What? I, I, my brain has gone completely blank. Um. Okay, I wanted her to be erratic, right? But she, is she still erratic? You know? It's like she's, she's learned how to control her power. You know what I mean? But it could kind of send her loopy eventually. Like when? Because I think right now she's in shell shock. <laughs> so maybe down the line she got a bit loopy. But let's see. Um, she could be. Uh, oh my gosh! A kleptomania, a materialistic, a rancher. Um, yo, she loves the doors. Let's see if you speed that. I wanted to also still be childish. There is a trait, but I'm probably thinking of a CC trait, and really, 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 really considering it to be part of the game because I've been using it for so long. That's probably what's happening here. I don't know because she's like because she be able to be a bookworm maybe she wants like all the knowledge now that she is since she's free of being the queen you know oh she's good as well she's very good so let's just let's just give it like that right and then but the thing is helena has a daughter so what's that child name jahera okay all right so we're gonna <laughs> is me where's that child name <laughs> what is that child's name now, Jahira, you know, I, I I really got rid of one toddler. So let's say Jahira is a couple years, a couple years old, older than a toddler. Because I want this child to be self-sufficient. Because I really don't want to take care of a child. Or do I want it to be a teenager? No, no, no. So much time hasn't passed yet. Right. So, um, 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 multi-skill. What are you going to do? She could, um mind and body slumber party animal um yeah work on your mind and body i don't i don't really care either way so i'm thinking um what's her name jahira 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 there's a y in there somewhere and i don't know where it is <laughs> jahira ja I'm leaving it like that. Jahira Targaryen, right? What's her trait? I'm thinking this girl's trait is going to be like she's a lunar because it's like she misses, like she had a twin brother and she doesn't have him anymore. So she'll be kind of like, you know, she witnessed a terrible thing. But you know, the fact that kids can be erratic is so funny to me, but it shouldn't be. So it should be better than this. I'm like, this is bad. <laughs> but I don't think that she's a lunar child and very independent and like, yeah, she doesn't really because she's. Every, everything she knew changed at such an early age, right? So she is going to be a loner. All right. And we're going to give her the purple eyes, right? 
Are we gonna give her like um? Let's see. What hair can she have? Oh, she looks so cute. I also like this hair because maybe she's kind of like Ar Arya, Arya um Stark, where she's like you know she has the short hair. She thinks like she's like I because this outfit is so cute. Like she thinks that she's like a boy. And let's give her the blues, the the kind of blue greens, or maybe she could have the um. I don't know. I like the red. She's still a Targaryen. Cause she she's like, like she would have read about her her history and stuff, and she likes the Targaryen lineage because it's like it's super cool to like have people in your family who are like badass women in your family, and they're growing up in a city that you know accepts that. So she's gonna be as you know a swashbuckling. T oh, no wait, where is that outfit? Where is that outfit? No, it's like you know the outfit. It's a costume of her being a pirate. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, she's too cute. <laughs> oh my <laughs> Oh, she's adorable. But then I like these outfits too. Aww. Tahira. <laughs> Aww. Okay, just now. I, yeah, so I think that's I honestly think oh wait, we in Tulani. But no, I'm I'm kind of going for a different kind of like a different feel. But I like this. It's like, let's see. Yeah, like look how nice this is. So she's definitely like, I know, I'm like, I love her in red. So to me, she's definitely like Targaryen pride, you know? <laughs> ah, Targaryen. <laughs> and she wants to conquer Westeros again. <laughs> Aw, cutie. Let's just get her like a nice little fit. A nice little blouse. I want to go back to what she had on before. Ooh. You know, I can... Ooh, this Star Wars fit, though. Ah. Uh, yes. Oh, yeah. Targaryen pride for real. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> and let's get any um the black. Yeah. She takes herself very seriously. And maybe she will go... Maybe she will go to Old Valeria, a.k.a. Star Wars land. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, she takes herself so seriously. So she has a little sword somewhere. But she's a loner. So she can be an assassin later on in life. Okay, so. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just talk so much shitter. Right? <laughs> Hot and cold weather. Right? Like, you know, she takes off the Visenya. And then maybe, you know, she's kind of like a, a pre Daenerys. Maybe she has a dream about Daenerys. Because she could be a dreamer like her mother. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you never know right so let's do that right so we have three generations of women here and she has a lunar trade but you know she still likes to play and my girl is is cute oh this hairstyle is so it's like oh it's your hair oh, let me see does she have lashes any piercings yeah she can do piercings actually no we're not gonna do that she's not the type she's not the type for that is she the type for lashes? Lashes are broken though. No. I'm so sad. I'm so sad. Wait, why can't... Oh. Oh. And I forgot to like put like some blush and some CC blush and stuff in here. Okay. Alright, Joel. So, oh, you know what I want to do? I want to put Helena in an outfit for the wedding. That's may or may not be happening. Alright, so let's just get her something formal. Like a um, full body. And I kind of want to put her in this dress. What is the color we decided for the pinks? Because look at this. Oh my. I know she's like wearing a red headpiece, but that's okay. Okay, it's okay. It's fine. It's Helena. She can do what she wants. Right. Uh -huh. Let's see. This is another nice little look for her. Because it's like, I don't know. I want to use this hair on somebody, damn it. <laughs> it's like oh no none of these looks are looking right now let's see let's go maybe we can just do this one and let's get her some accessories right um, actually really I really like this now I like the blue the blue looks nice Oh, okay, okay. So that's oh no. Let me dress the child for the. Let me dress the child for the wedding too. Just wait. Did I not copy all the other looks to you? What the heck? 
the tops um copy to formal yeah copy that great okay so let's go to formal now let's go to full body for full body outfits i think the child will wear one of these i don't know is it only one color let me see there's no black in this i don't think they'll have lots of black for these children i don't know i mean i understand why but like my goodness <laughs> like you give me black in this <laughs> Ooh, targaryen pride but would she run i mean this is her grandmother like her like her sister her aunt getting married yeah she can wear like a mini kind of bridal gown she's gonna hate it she's gonna be like oh i don't want i don't want to wear this different thing but yeah <laughs> she's gonna protest all the way and she's gonna be like nobody's gonna touch my hair oh okay so i don't think there's any kind of like slick back medium hairstyles for girls oh no nah oh look at her yay <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay she's cute all right girl let's go let's go finally let's move them into their um i have to move them into their palace you know what i didn't do was give them money that's what i didn't do be right back hi guys so i moved rhaenyra and company in um in to Zalani. now um okay so uh <laughs> look at this lot guys this lot is gorgeous and i am going to tell you one time that i will be using this lot again but in like my oh my gosh oh sorry guys i where is bryant why is he at daycare okay so bryant i put bryant back in the game because i'm saying it was since it's a couple of years like after the events of house of the dragon i said you know what they ran away a couple of years have passed and they did adopt a baby so maybe that's why rhaenyra was in um in a marada because you know she came there to adopt a baby <laughs> Okay, because, okay, so yes, Westeros exists, but Sulani also exists in its own kind of, like, place. So they kind of, like, cross the portal, right? Where they could be kind of, like, where they could live this alternate future, right? So let me tell y'all who this lot is by. Because, oh, what am I doing? Child, I done start already. All right, so this lot is by, um, first of all, let's go to Others um lots i downloaded a lot of lots guys because i am going to be taking them on a little adventure so it's its name is the water gardens of dawn and it's by shane i can't pronounce that but by this person here it's like so freaking amazing like it's unbelievably unbelievably amazing right wait this was shared on the 10th of 8 really and i downloaded wow okay so i got a lot of i got a good couple of builds from them because they're just and they have like a lot of like game of thrones inspired builds as well so i am just going to go back and download a lot from these people i also downloaded a lot of lots without which i will be going through but take note of this page guys because yeah i may not talk about all of the creators going forward but just take and take a note of it really amazing stuff right so do i do like a do i do like a tour of this build ah oh, because i'm going to again i'm going to use it over and i'm going to be doing a tour but for my brandy in the city um my brandy in the city lp so i think i would save it for then but in the meantime y'all could y'all could like y'all could see let me just um find rhaenyra so Rhaenyra is eaten. Okay, Allison is trying to cook. So of course we have like a butler, you know. Um, and we have a maid as well. So the butler is just like taking oh uh, Allison is actually like trying to prepare some stuff. Uh, but I would really love it if my baby came back. Oh, here's my baby. Hi. Hi. Okay, so the nanny is taking care of the baby. But you know what I just realized? That I actually did not put down anything for this baby to do so let, let's 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 um 
let's rectify that because he doesn't have like a room right and i kind of wanted to put his room on the first floor so it might be easier to like get to but i'm just like that just seems like a lot right now <laughs> But this build is this build is really nice and I cannot wait to like Cause when I tell you this build is is give give me like a storyline idea for Brand in the City. Um and I know I hope you all have been watching Brand in the City. Um if you all haven't, I recommend it. It's 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 a good series that I really want to get more consistent with. Um and yeah, let me sell this. Let me just get my, let's get my, um, what the heck is happening here? Okay. So let me, what do I do for babies? Infants and toddlers. Um, no, I just honestly, you know what? I just need a, 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 a baby crib. Where do I go for that? You would swear I know nothing about this game. But... <laughs> You would swear I know nothing about this game. Look, here's a baby toddler. A baby... A baby crib. Yeah. Okay, nice. Let's see. Let's see what this room looks like. Okay, this is... Okay, so I kind of want to move this. Can't intersect with other objects. Like, what are the objects? Okay, let's put you outside. Listen, anything that's giving me a, like, a little bit of trouble... Is going to disappear, right? So I'm going to delete this. As you're, you're, you're causing too much problems right now, right? Let's put this here. Alright, so we put in the baby there. And let's see if we can get maybe a rocking chair. Like, we don't need all of this. Like, we don't need all of this in this room right now. Alright, thanks. You can just sell it. It's okay. We don't need the candles. I get what you all were trying to do here. It's very ambient. Oh, well, look at the little pumpkin. Brian Targaryen. <laughs> Please. He is too cute. Alright, I do need a changing table though. You know, they be oh wait, no, this looks more medieval. Because, you know, we still want to be like, you know, we are in a kind of that kind of era. You know what I mean? Like, I'm still trying for it to, like, have that kind of vibe. But you know the Sims 4 is lacking where that is concerned. Alright, let me give you all a changing table. I want it in the brown. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's put that. And I'm gonna move this. This this baby don't need no... Doesn't really need all of these plants inside here. I get what you're... Again, I get what you're going for. We love it. We love to see it. But... We just need a rocking chair, like a simple rocking chair. He has a changing table and a dresser. Let me just, I do need, like he does need toys and stuff. Um, Do I need all of these deco items? Definitely not. We do need a high chair though. So where is my high chair? Um... I, you know what? I did never had these play mats back in the days, but I think it's important because every child needs one, right? It, it doesn't go with anything, but let's just pretend it does. You know what I mean? So let's put my high chair, the baby's high chair, in the kitchen. I never thought I would have had to like redecorate this thing for a damn baby chair, like serious talk. Let's just put that there. How cute! Let's just change the swatch to be like more brown. Yeah, brown orange. Kind of stick with the color scheme a little bit. And let's go back up to the Baba's room. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go back up. And I really should have done this like off camera, but I forgot that I was going to do this. So yeah, y'all are here for it. Y'all are here for, for all of that, right? Like, like be done with me. Be done with my struggles. Um, let's get some toys. So this is gonna be like a toy for the baby. Um, a little horse. I wish we had like dragon toys. That would be so cute and really accurate. Let's get a sheep. You know, shout out sheep stealer that we only saw 
for like like two good minutes or less um all right so let's do they did it have a bin oh no what's happening there does it have a bin i probably would have to uh, let's see do you not you're not gonna fit to the side are you okay just now okay oh no okay good so it could fit right there does it look could it look any more awkward oh my gosh let's just do that color right and um oh i was looking to get a rocking chair so let's get a rocking chair yeah so we can rock um our baby uh, in our arms because he's the best little baby ever uh, where is my rocking chair no um hi i saw these two but do, don't we have others there's this one from the from the um okay i think this one could work yeah so we'll, we'll use this one yeah okay we'll just use that one and that's all that we're gonna do for the baby's room right now every other bedroom is typically the same i'm not really going to do too much about it right now that's why i like again i want to use this as like a a hotel i've been looking for a hotel for a long time to use and this is perfect for it so yeah okay so let's do upstairs it's like kind of like a viewing gallery um and there's some really nice walkways there's an outdoor seating area up here this is so nice y'all so nice and a different like place is tucked away for them to play games and stuff like that like chess so yeah so let's go back into live mode right so he is at he is being taken care of by the nanny let's go play um hey hey what's going on can i click on her with from him get fed by aisha excuse me why is she calling she doesn't why are you putting him down i don't know what's going on okay so rhaenyra is like the the nanny called rhaenyra like guys look at this oh now rhaenyra has to go all the way upstairs right to see about this baby but no i really want the focus to be on um you and Alison. So let's see what Alison is doing. Alison, oh, Alison is being all homemaker-ish. Things that she's never done. Now Alison, uh, no, Alison. Oh, oh, she's tired. Okay, so it's Saturday. It's Saturday morning. Everybody, I think everybody is like kind of like off. You taking a nap, hon? I would really like it if you go to bed. Okay, take your nap, babe and helena is actually like asleep why is nobody no y'all go to go y'all find a bed now there are like 59 beds upstairs oh my gosh go like listen oh guys and i spelled your hair wrong there's no why in her name i was thinking of her i was thinking of her um her her brother right so i'm gonna assign no no just all. i'm gonna assign bed to butler Lani, what's going on with, with you? You scared? Hun! Oh, what the heck? No, that's not your bed. That is the butler's bed. But since you want to like hide under the covers, I guess. So here's what's going to happen, hun. I need you and Allison to actually have like a room privately on the other side of the house close to your baby. So this will be your room. So assign right, assign right side of bed to, not to Helena, no. Ass oh no, stop. So it's like assign right side of bed to 
Rhaenyra. Sorry, they look alike, guys. So I was like losing it. Assign left side of bed to Alicent. And Jahira. I know you're hungry. Jahira is like. Jahira, you look like you're drowning. Please don't. Please don't. Why? So Alicent just made something for herself to eat? Alicent, really? So anyway, I have. Um, I want Helena's side of the bed to be here. So a side right side to Helena and Jehera assign left side to yourself. Yeah. So you go assign your bed. What does she want to do? She wants to stay on oh, she wants to stay on lot for eight hours. I know she wanna become friends with Alison. Okay, I hope you get that done. And then you wanna stay on the lot. How much of hours? Okay. Is anybody going to feed this baby? Can you feed her? Get fed by Aisha. Because right now his mother is having a conniption. Yeah. Yeah, Aisha. Take care of me. Oh, no. Yeah. Uh oh. Why is he? Why is he glitching? Yes, so get fed by her, and I also want her to put you here, so you can, you know, all of the, okay, so the butler is also here to take care of the children, and that's great. Alison, okay, so she's gonna get something to eat, alright, nice. Oh, Jahira, what are you having, like a bowl of chips? Can somebody please, I wish butlers were better. Because I, I want to, like, assign the butler to make a meal. Like, I wish they would just make a meal all, like, on their own. I know sometimes they do, but sometimes they don't. All right, so let's get a butler here. Where is the butler? Where, you know, it'll be the hardest thing to find this damn butler now. Like, yeah. Oh, look him here. Okay, so butler, can you, um... All right, assign a task. Can you cook a family meal? That would be great. Actually, no, no, no. Can you cook? Um, um, assign task. Cook a party meal. Thanks. It's not not Helena here. Plain. Oh, I know Helena would find the toy useful. Oh, Helena. Oh yay! Oh, uh, so Helena, go take us, go sleep. Where's your bed? Your bed is all the way on the other side of the, of the, of the palace. Okay. Lovely. Oh, so cute. Okay. Yo, well, I tried to build something like this, and I just, it just. Why you have a bed, Rhaenyra? Rhaenyra, don't get my vex. Can you go take a nap in your in your bed? That would be great. No, not there. I said go in your bed. Oh my gosh. Now she and Alison are partners. No, go sleep. And I want Alison to also go sleep. Because we have to get your sleeping habits back on track. Why? Why are you going now? Our time is not concluded. You have to say about the baby. First of all, what are you talking about? I said both of you to go to bed. Oh my god, I swear, I swear, I swear, I swear. Does it not have a door? Go here. Mm hmm. And you also go here, right? I is there not a door to this room? Apparently not. Apparently there is no door to this bedroom. Of all bedrooms, right? Of all bedrooms. I don't even want to know where the door going. Like I just really just So let's just let's just let them sleep here and let them sleep here because I just I can't. I can't I can't. Right? So yeah, go and sleep in another bed, right? And Helena is in her bed, taking a nap, good. And Jahira, honey, 
Jahara, is this woman? Okay, Jahara. I'm just going to leave you and let you do your thing. <laughs> Look at how happy she looks. <laughs> She's like, I'm alone. Yeah, I'm tired, but I'm alone. Go and, go and take a nap, please. Thank you. Because I do want Alison and Rhaenyra to, like, you know, walk in the gardens, hold some hand, work on their romance and stuff like that. Okay. Bryant is asleep. I thought the nanny was leaving. How do you get a 24-7 nanny? Who's this? Who came upstairs? Why is this person come up here to talk to my baby? Get out of my house. Get out of my house. Alison, didn't I not say you to sleep? Oh my god. She is so annoying. Like, she is so annoying. Like, she's legitimately, like, so annoying. Alright. Can you not reach on the bed? Is it the chair, Alison? It could be the chair. Why would you put a chair there? I mean, I get it. It's cute. But let's let's put Allison in this room then. Maybe they'll have separate rooms. You know, because that's how they're used to things. They have separate rooms. And then they'll have like a joint room for them to woohoo together. So yeah, so she has her little spot across here. Um, are you napping? Yes, you are napping. Okay, good. Cause you need you need some proper sleep as well. Some proper sleep and some proper food. Y'all. Oh, mini rock. <laughs> so everybody should be should be uh, should be resting. Bryant, this dude is still in the house. What is wrong with y'all? Can she can she, oh she you know he's sleeping. Okay. So he's sleeping, so he doesn't need help just yet. But let him let him go in his little his little Sulani. Well, Westerosi, well SOC outfit. Cute, yes, and infants are totally adorable in this game. And they did, if it's one thing that they did well, is toddlers and infants. They did, they did, they did, they really, they really did. Mm -hmm. Is he asking to move in with him? Oh, is she divorced? Okay. Listen. Uh, he's like, okay, we can talk later. All right. <laughs> Aisha. All right. I don't have to speed up everything because I really do want um, Rhaenyra and Alison to, to have like... A little date night. Why is this person still here? What is wrong with them walking through my house like if they own the place? Jeez, it's so sickening. Where are you going? I thought you were leaving. You better not be charging me for still being here. Oh my goodness. But I want Renira and Allison to have a moment together. Also, it has games and stuff. Okay, nice. Okay, so I'm going to wake everyone up because I kind of just want them to get back on a proper sleeping schedule. And I didn't want them to be like too tired and stuff. So, home girl, this sleepy child. Although I'm sitting, if Helena would want to like sleep in the same room as, as her daughter, and I feel like she would, especially after what happened with um, her son. Because she and her daughter are very close, you know? So I need honey, I need honey bear to use the restroom. I need to find it though. Like where is it? Was this supposed to be a restroom here? This looked like it was supposed to be a restroom. But everything either deleted from it or I don't have the pack, maybe. I don't know. Hey Lena wants to go to university. Um Rhaenyra what? Rhaenyra had a nightmare about being watched silently by a very creepy doll. Yeah, that's a very creepy-ass nightmare. 
okay? Um, I need you to use the restroom. Why are all these restrooms empty? Huh. That's a problem. That's a problem that I will have to fix, but not now because ain't nobody got the time, girl. You just go use the bathroom all the way over here. <laughs> you just go use that one because, yeah. So go use that and take a shower or take a bath. And no, you don't need to take a bath. You'll go, you'll, after you wake up, you'll get something to eat. So, Helena. Okay, so use your restroom downstairs, I guess. Who is... What... Uh, um, excuse... Who are these people? And why are you in my house? The butler, butler, this is not appropriate. This is not... This is not appropriate. <laughs> this is... This is very inappropriate. Um, workplace, um, activities. Who is this? Lily, Zoo, and Elder. Okay, so they brought food. Oh, who cooked this? Did he, did he, this is the, okay, so the butler cooked, and the butler cooked this. Okay, cool, so the butler actually cooked some food. So here's what's going to happen. Everybody is hungry. I am going to actually put some food here, and I'm going to put food here, and I'm going to let Helena call everyone to the meal. So yeah, come down, Helena, and call everyone. Yeah. I know Bryant is asleep soundly, but he's hungry, so someone is going to need to take care of him. And I hope the butler will take I hope the butler will do that. Why are you feeling insecure from your jealous trait? If your insign insignificant other isn't around her, can you know what they're doing? But you're not jealous, babe. Allison. Infants can be a real help, especially for new parents. I specialize in child care and I've helped young families in your neighborhood. Um sure. Yeah, you can come through and help with the baby because we are not going to be taking care of this child. More hands on deck is going to be great for me. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah, so Rhaenyra is going to get something to eat. Yeah. Where is my child? Hi, child. Okay, so she's actually going to use the restroom. Okay, cool. Allison, Allison's still sleeping. What are you, the queen? Okay, I'll get up and eat her. Okay, so Brian has some quirks. He's a frequently bright and sunny upon waking. Infants with a loves the wake up time. Quirks are more likely to be happy when they wake up. Aww. Oh, Brian, I know you're like a prince. I mean, he's technically, yeah, he's technically still a prince, right? I mean, she's still the queen, but not really the queen of anything. And his two former queens are his mom, so it's like, yeah, of course he's a prince. Now, in this reality, um, Allison's children, her sons, are no longer alive. Um, only Helena survived, um, and her granddaughter. And Rhaenyra's kids, well, um, Jacaris is no longer with us, but her last two sons are still alive. We leave sons with demons. All right, in this reality, yeah. So that's that's what we that's what we doing. Oh, Rhaenyra, you don't need to wash your own with dishes, hand. That's why you have a butler, All right? So this child is a loner. She's still. Oh, I know you had to walk really far to use your restroom. I'm sorry, hun. I'm really sorry for you. I will fix that eventually, maybe, maybe not, but you know. All right, go go have some food. Your granny's downstairs. Yeah, does these people just in and out of my house is very upsetting to me. Because it's not like, I don't know what they're here for. It's not like it has, um, uh, what's the word? What's the word? Where they come in for a housewoman party or something like that. It's not even that. So, yeah. So, Alison is eating. What does Alison want to do? She wants to make friends become friends with Aisha and have a child she wants to have a child hun I mean I guess she didn't adopt the child maybe she wants to have another child to replace the child children that she doesn't have I'm so sorry for that like I'm so sorry okay so she wants to be friendly with Jahira be friendly five times with Alicent so come on like um ooh, in the waterfall 
She's a chick. And like, you know, and really get, get into her vibe. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, okay, so this is the, this is the, the nanny. All right. I hope you're taking care of my child. Great. Oh my god, the romance festival is in Tong. Okay, so we're definitely going to go to the romance festival with Rhaenyra and um, with Rhaenyra and Alison. I think that would be the best thing for them to do. You know, in this new world that they're living in. <laughs> I wish you could have like a romance festival in other places. Oh, look at them. She's like, okay, oh, I didn't realize they were really the same thing, but you know what? That checks out. She's like, you know what? Do you want to go to like, um, do you want to go to the romance festival? It has this thing that I've been hearing about. We should, we should totally go. I wonder if, if Gia is going to call and invite Rhaenyra to go. What the hell was that? Bob Pancakes? Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Oh, hey, welcome to Single to Mingle. Okay, so I had put Rhaenyra in a... Before I decided to do this, I had put Rhaenyra in a club with Miss Gia XOX called the Singles to Mingle Club. But you know what? I'm thinking I'm going to um, take her out of this club, you know? Because she doesn't... She's not single to mingle anymore, right? Can I... How can I leave the club? Um... Oh, here. Yeah. So she's going to get out of the club. So Gia has a space for like one more person to be in the club. Okay. So, yeah. And I was like, I got the idea to do this. I was watching somebody's video where they were like, um, Rhaenyra and Alison answer um, the internet's number one questions. And I was like, it was so funny. And I was like, what if they really got a chance outside of... Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. What if they really got a chance outside of Westeros, you know? Don't accuse her of spying, Rhaenyra. Rhaenyra. She was spying on you, yes. Now she wants to accuse her of spying. Like, 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 come on. Come on. Rhaenyra, we're going to the romance festival. Yes. And what's going on? No, don't do that. She's not spying on you, honey. Let's see where Helena is. Helena is sitting quietly in the corner by herself, just chilling. Oh, you know what? I should give Helena an embroidery thing. Cause she'll, oh, so let me buy that for Helena first. Where are all, why are all my bathrooms, like a lot of my bathrooms, empty? Um, okay. So let's get activities and skills. Activities and skills. Creative. Creative. Where's creative, right? And she could get like a yarn basket. Which one is the one for? Oh, this one. So she will get. Hey, this colors are pink, right? So she could get this basket. And um, we could let her, like, you know also be like a somebody who does embroidery and who really likes it and stuff like that so yeah helena you can work on that skill in the meantime in between time so let's see because this would be in on her person right i think she has to put this in her inventory does she oh my god stop what are you doing Okay, my game is being weird. Oh no, don't be, don't be weird, man. Don't be weird. Don't be weird. Okay, yeah. Stitch from, oh, she can make a friendship bracelet. Stitch from pattern, simple. Let's do a small hoop. And let's do like, you know, she'll do like a rainbow. Yeah. Okay, so let's just put this somewhere. Let's just put this on her person. So even though she, she has this one on the table here, she also has one in her person. So she'll be embroidering because that's what she likes to do. 
Oh, my baby is sad. My baby is hungry. Why is nobody feeding my baby? Oh my gosh. Get fed by... There are like 95 people here for you to get fed by. Get fed by Lonnie. I know. I know, Pumpkin. It's okay. Food is on the way. Alright, Alicent. Alicent, no. Okay, so I'm going to take Alicent and Rhaenyra to the Romance Festival, okay? And I put down like so much lots for them to go visit eventually like because I want them to get married because they're not actually married I want them to go to the hot springs and stuff like that so I have like intentions with them but let's go to the city because it's a romance festival and you all know how I feel about the romance festival many of my sims have gotten married at the romance festival so yeah let's go with Rhaenyra <laughs> Rhaenyra! <laughs> I love her. <laughs> Alright, so let's see what everybody's wearing. Let's see if we'll see Gia XXO, because this is my XOXO save, like I said before. I'm excited. I don't know how long this is going to be because the cast has already been like 45 minutes, but I don't want the gameplay to be like too long. And I may do it in parts because y'all know, y'all know me. I love a good, I love a good, um, partition. What do you... Um, Rhaenyra, what are you wearing? I, I mean, I guess. I mean... Didn't I not change... I changed this outfit, though. And I changed your hair. No, you know what, Rhaenyra? No. You making... You making me feel like a fool. Because I know I changed your outfit. MC dress to change outfit. I... I made her outfit... Why is her main dress red when I change it to black? What is going on? Is her stuff reverting back because she's from the gallery? No, it is. I don't like that. Just now, let me. MC Command Center. Um, how do I modify and cast again? Modify household and cast. I didn't realize. Okay, so I forgot that Rhaenyra is also from the gallery through Cupid's Corner. So she is reverting as well. I don't like this outfit. Let's let's go to like um outfit number one and let's copy it. Copy it. Nothing. In tops categories. Oh, okay, that's all. Oh, okay. So copy this to cold weather, please. Thank you. All right. Let me see. Does anything else need like changing? Since we're here, you know. Right. Okay, nice. And she has some gloves. Okay, good. So we can we could roll with this. We could roll with this Renira. Okay, because you're the queen. You're the queen. You're the black queen. Oh, I'm the queen of the blacks. And um Allison is the queen of the greens, and these two could come together and we could be one big hot D family. With all the dragons. Why is she bucket? Y'all, y'all. Yo, this is really upsetting me. Oh, she's gonna apologize. What do you need to apologize for? Okay, apologize. <laughs> Would Rhaenyra always need, like, reassurance? She's like... She's like, I'm sorry. Like, I am I'm totally sorry that... You know, I'm so upset that Rhaenyra, is, like, has changed... <sighs> They need to fix this glitch. This glitch is very annoying. Okay, so Rhaenyra is still gonna be like a little upset. She's like, you know what? I'm, s I, I, I'm, I, I don't know. I don't know how much I could um. Oh, try to console her. Why is she? Oh, yeah, cause she's scared, and she's scared of the dark, and she's also like paranoid. Oh, I'm so sorry, hun. That she would always need this kind of like um. Oh, express your regard. Express regard. Oh my gosh, how how romantic. She's like, listen, I love you a lot, okay? I'm sorry that you always have to feel like you need to um, apologize to me. So let's pause security together. Let's go get some security. Let let them, like, you know. Oh, why is Renira barefoot? You know what? I'm not even 
going to like oh, I don't even know what's happening here okay who's this guy Kiyoshi Ito okay hey don't be flirt hello are she jealous okay she's not seeing okay good oh she is seeing i'm sorry uh, oh my gosh alice i'm sorry to break her romantic boundaries and it's thinking about breaking up no you can't be thinking about breaking up right now alison alison please <laughs> alison is like this cannot be kristen cole all over again like <laughs> i know I listen, you cannot like you cannot deny the undeniable attraction of Rhaenyra. Okay, I know. I know she's beautiful and I know, but it doesn't mean anything to her. Alice Rhaenyra, please stop flirting. Okay, go apologize to her. Look at Rhaenyra's face. Rhaenyra is like just being Rhaenyra. I mean, I can't help but everybody loves me. I am the queen who ever was. All right. <laughs> I am the queen who ever was. And you know what? Let go and say hello to your go and say um tenderly embrace her. Okay? Like yeah. I love this romantically reserved thing because it kind of like reminds me of like medieval type of Monica, you just be everywhere. You don't have a child to say about. Oh my gosh, yes. She's like, it's okay. Oh! Oh! Alison! Alison, this is not what this is supposed to be about! Okay, everybody! Oh! Alison! Look at everybody's face! Like, this is how she was slapping Aegon in season one when Aegon was doing the whole. When he was jerking it out the window. <laughs> this is how she slapped him! Alison, you're too violent. Oh, look at the backhand. Like, look at the backhand slap. Like, like, serious talk, Alison. I feel like you need to go to anger management because this is not the way to handle situations. Not everything is supposed to be like a hit. Okay, you need to learn to use your words, Alison. All right, okay. <laughs> And Rhaenyra is stunned because it's like, who treats her this way? It's best she had to stay with Damon. Like, honestly, Jim Damon was a little choke every now and again. But come on, look at how everybody's looking. You have you have Rhaenyra out here looking crazy. Crazy, my girl, crazy. And look at this man, like, he feel like he's a Targaryen. Like, what is happening? Even, even the freaking romance guru. Even the romance guru. I... She's just, she's slight, and this is just for slight discontent. This is not even like being completely unsatisfied. She didn't even do anything. It's the guy that flirted with her. Oh, I see now he's hugging her. She's like, don't do this to me. You know how I feel about you. <sighs> Apologize. Share insecurities. Rhaenyra, like... <sighs> Share insecurities. And then how she was slapping Kristen Cole when she was frustrated. She's like, you just make me feel, you know how I get, you know how I get when I see anybody else talking to you. And I know you know it doesn't mean anything to you, but sometimes I feel like we had kids again and you chose Kristen Cole over me. You know? I can't believe it. So, Rhaenyra, I really want you to talk to the romance guru after that because ask her about your current relationship because things are kind of rocky right now. And this man come back again. Oh. I need you to take a chill pill. I know you're not having fun right now, but stop talking. Now she's still very angry. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at her being paranoid. Ask him about the ask the girl about her current relationship. 
and you drink some more security you need security so she's gonna ask about the current relationship what is he gonna tell her Mm. Why is he have a romance thing with her? What did he say? I want to know about our current relationship. Oh no, what happened? What did he tell you? At least your flaws are perfectly match. And you know what? You know what? At least your flaws are perfectly match. That is true. That is very true. Girl, don't be looking at me. Look at all of these Targaryens in the back here. These half Targaryens. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm looking at anybody blonde. Um, Alison, what's your problem? <laughs> Alison, Alison, that's such a did you not like did you <laughs> Alison, did you not? Did you not change your ways in the last how much of a years? You look at the roll eye excuse. She's like, you bring me here and to embarrass me. She knows how I feel. Just go pee. Just go pee. And relax yourself. Not everything revolves around you. Right? Renira, I need you to just like repair this. I need you to um purchase a social item from the bartender so you and Alison could kind of recover your date kind of situation because i think you'll need like okay so you need to oh the classic romantic blanket you could buy this as well um and i need you to can you play the guitar i don't know um i want you to have to say to play Wait, can you not buy? Oh, I thought she could have bought like the chocolates and stuff. Damn, that would have been a order food. I thought she could have ordered like the 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 um you know what I'm talking about. She I thought she could have ordered like the boxes of chocolates and the flowers and stuff. Yeah, so order some drinks for your group. Right? Oh, I know you need to use the bathroom as well. Don't you dare flip with Mortimer. Look at her face, she's still pissed. Can you please send him away? Yeah. So, no, you need to like make her feel better. Oh my gosh. She needs to use it. Oh, you should get this wine. This wine is for you. Yeah, drink your wine, girls. Oh my gosh. Girls, y'all should go sit and chat over here. Right? So drink your wine and stuff like that. And I need you to like praise her beauty. Oh wow. She's like, you know, you're still the most beautiful. You look as beautiful as you look under the under the um heart tree when we were kids and you wear your blue colours and stuff. Oh, I want you to kiss her. It's very tense. What's going on? Another bad feeling from having an unpredictable romance dynamic. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you know, are you all supposed to be together? Like, are you, are you all meant to be together? I think you all want to be together, but it's not supposed to, like, happen like that. Like, like... <laughs> Rhaenyra is so much of a free spirit and Alison has always been like a stuck up like she's stuck up and like high maintenance yeah drink it she's like I'm gonna drink my wine okay whatever you wanna like um interact be friendly with her I know you're tense right now Rhaenyra is totally upset <sighs> so be friendly and give some deep thoughts you know worry about baby development can we discuss healthy relationships a little bit actually no you need to pee so don't don't pee yourself go we'll pee yeah and she can't even like and allison cannot even make 
What the hell? Can't even make Rhaenyra jealous because Rhaenyra doesn't care about that kind of thing. But, I mean... Yeah, whatever. And she's not having any fun. I'm sorry, girl. I'm sorry. But here's pretty. Can we take a picture with your boo? Oh, Rhaenyra, come and drink your drink. Come on. Is she flirting right in front of- you see? She- you see what I told you? She's- she's like considering to flirt. And Rhaenyra doesn't even care. Because it's like- oh my gosh. How dare you. Are you gonna flirt with her now? Are you gonna like tease, kiss her? Can you can noodle or attempt to get respectfully closer? Mm -hmm. She's like, I'm sorry, you know how I get. It's like, I don't like that. I don't like that you get like that. Okay? Let's see. Oh, no. I'm not in the mood. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, is Rhaenyra upset? Rhaenyra's like, no, I'm not into you right <gasps> Alison, <laughs> no, <gasps> no, <laughs> this is going completely opposite of what I wanted. Okay, like, why? What is happening? Alison has not been feeling romantic lately, and she's starting to feel kind of unflirty. Embrace a change, yeah. After getting rejected at the Romance Festival. Yes, I'll be feeling unflirty too. So both of y'all are just gonna be cold. Renira prefers un so Renira prefers slow burn connections, feeling very uneasy when there isn't a strong foundation of friendship. Okay, so I'm guessing that friendship needs to be <sighs> they need to rebuild their friendship after like how much of a years. I guess they kind of like, you know, maybe run into some issues. Because I believe Rhaenyra, okay, so basically what happened in my in my head canon, right? Rhaenyra had to set up her kingdom first, Alison ran away and whatnot. She went away to the east and then Rhaenyra set up her sons on the throne, well, her son on the throne, and then left, then left and met Alison, you know? Because she realized that, you know what, maybe I don't want the throne. But they have to kind of like rekindle their, their, their friendship. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. I am so sorry. Like, I have just been like, really and truly. What is happening? Unwanted advances. Oh my gosh. Yikes. Yikes. Yikes, guys. Not unwanted advances. This is terrible. I am so sorry. I need to fix this because I need to, I need for them to be friends and they need to like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, not romance, let's, let's just give them like better friendships, deep thoughts, like you know, what I wanted to do is relationship. Not to break up, but I want to like work on their romance dynamic. Like, let's do that. Yeah, like, I mean, I know we have a lot of work to do. Allison wasn't open to the romance dynamic with Renira. What? I don't think. I wonder if that actually working. Like, you know. Um, let's be friendly with her. Let's let's gossip about. Um, let's do some small talk. Let's get to know you, like, you know, and, you know, maybe I should create a hangout. Y'all, this is, this is, this is a lot. Ask for Cupid's Counselor, we probably should. We probably should go to Cupid's Counselor. I wanted, I wanted them to propose. Like, I honestly wanted her to propose. Oh, wow. Maybe, maybe... Maybe they're not meant to be. Oh my gosh. Deep thoughts. Yeah, I, I, I said to discuss healthy relationships, right? 
small talk get to know her so this is like what get to know okay so i did that already so i was really just supposed to do discuss dating standards right and i would like you to also have deep thoughts and i would like you to discuss healthy relationships like what does that mean to you because i want to like start this over fresh right she's still flirty for some reason even though she's unflirty she's like yeah oh my gosh it's like i like flowers and stuff you know like maybe we should go slow Rhaenyra is romantically reserved Rhaenyra is romantically reserved sim these sims navigate the path of love with thoughtful consideration cherishing the depth of emotional bonds rather than the rush of flitting attractions for them a romantic journey is painted with heartfelt conversations and significant actions that strengthen their bonds like getting a whole army for her However, taking such a cautious approach to love may occasionally result in missed chances at romance, a small trade-off for the meaningful connections they form. Uh, okay, so... <laughs> Look at Rini Rao's face! Rini Rao, why does your face look like that? I'm sorry, this is hilarious to me because it's like, I really wanted them to have the sweep and love affair. And you know what? <clears throat> You know what? It is this is oh that's her husband, okay. And Allison is there looking lost as usual. Right? Lost as usual. Like there any headlights. And she's probably like really, really wishing for Kristen Cole right now to come along and and do what he does. But alas, Kristen Cole in this timeline of the story has perished. Oh, but you know what? Maybe maybe what could really happen is chris and cole survived and he comes in because i think what would have made the three of them happy if, if they were in a trouble a thruple so y'all let me know if y'all think i should put them in a thruple together you know what i mean <laughs> so sick man oh so you're gonna go dance okay listen to festival music and maybe they could go sing together maybe they could do that maybe because the festival is almost done the festival is gonna finish in a, in a bit like around, I think in about 10 minutes, 10 sim minutes. So, no, don't sing a solo. Sing a, sing a duet. Why do you only sing solo? Go here together. Do you have to, like, be a certain level to sing a duet? Rhaenyra, wait, what's going on? I don't understand. So sing a solo, sing... Okay, is she going to sing? No, you're not. Yes, you are. Oh. Oh, Alison, the singing. What are you singing, babe? Because I didn't send her to sing. She chose to sing for herself. And she's singing. Oh. Have some fun, girl. Embrace your... Wait. Oh. oh she's enjoying it yeah okay so she's she acquired the singing skill oh oh <laughs> Okay, you can stop. I don't understand why they can't do a duet. Oh, Alison. Okay, that's enough. No, but serious talk. Why she could only sing solo? Let me tell you something. You see the glitches that come in with this game? It's very aggravated to me. So, I would like you to um, give her a friendly hug. Let's do some affection. Let's give her a, an awkward hug. You know, I know I slapped you earlier. I know things were not the best between us. And I want to really work on our friendship. Do you not even want to give her a hug, Rhaenyra? Rhaenyra. Rhaenyra. You're doing a lot. 
it's like you don't do you not even trust her you came all the way over here you came all the way to Solani with to, to meet her you gave up your throne essentially why are you here then Oh, so basically you want to hug on your own, own terms. I, Venera, you're, you're hot and cold. You're hot and you're cold. All right? So just be friendly and, you know, discuss her interests. Like, what are her interests? Do you even want to get to know this new Allison? This more laid-back, carefree Allison? Hey, praise her beauty. Like, she's still beautiful. You know? And be funny and be friendly and do some more deep thoughts you know i want you to stargaze with her stargaze on a bench where's a nice bench around here i think there's one over here so can you like um can you like sit here no, let's go to where I want a nice bench that would kind of like you know, you know, you know, you know. All right, because you could watch these stars with um, just watch these stars. Hold on, I guess I'm looking for a nice spot so I could get a nice picture right because <laughs> basically you know you, you all know what's important to me right finding a nice spot to watch up, to get up, to get a really nice um thumbnail but the the um this thing this this thing gonna finish just now the um <clears throat> the festival is gonna finish just now and everything is gonna disappear so it's like, what starts with Alessand? Come on. Can you all move faster? Like with haste. I mean, I know you're all tired right now. Ooh, ooh. Last exception. Ugh. Come on, come on. I, I'll be taking you all home just now, okay? It's 2 o'clock. How is it 2 o'clock in the morning? Oh my gosh. Come on, yeah. She's like, yeah, do you want to watch the stars? Look. Look. Aww. There are many times I looked up and I, and I wanted it to be you. Do you know that the stars in the sky remind me of you? So bright and beautiful. I just wish that that whole war never happened. I know. And we could have been together for a very long time. Oh, I know, right? You two are so cute. That's one. Okay, so Rhaenyra is sleepy. So let's take her home. Let's take her home, guys. <clears throat> because their relationship is not as easy as i thought it was i just thought it was just gonna be easy to put these two complicated ass characters in in a in a sims world and you know have it be normal but clearly that is not the case clearly i have to do some deep introspection and maybe maybe just maybe call a match call a counselor the best counselor that, that i know right um that that Rhaenyra knows as well and I will be Gia XOXO <laughs> she maybe she could help them mend this relationship even though I know she's like the matchmaker right now I honestly think she could still double as like a um a romance consultant so we could maybe look into that and have her come visit you know to kind of help us repair our our um you know our relationship <laughs> sorry i love <laughs> you all i can't <sighs> i think i think that needs to happen i think gia needs to step in 
Um, but I don't think I'll do that in this episode. I think I'll keep this one short. Um, I'll keep this one short and sweet. These two needs to, these two girls need to go to bed. Um, and when I say short and sweet, because I know that why is my baby out on the floor? Alyssa, can you please pick up this baby? Thank you very much. Pick up my child. Thank you. All right, and he's very stinky. Helena, where are you? You swimming? Okay, so she's swimming. Okay, cool. Renera, please go to bed. Like, just go to your bed. This outing was not, it did not go entirely the way I wanted it to go. But it really do be like that sometimes. Renera, I think this is your room. Yeah? Allison, please pick up my child. Where are you? You have to go to school. Okay, so you're playing chess. Okay, good. You do your thing. I love that she's like such a loner. And like she's just chilling by herself. Okay, cool. And Allison. I said pick up my baby, thanks. Yeah, go and sleep. I know you have to like walk up a million stairs, so I hope you do. I hope you do get 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 there. I hope you make it. Oh, Allison. Maybe you could adopt him. Right? relationship change your relationship oh she can adopt him so i think she'll eventually adopt him since she does want a child yeah look at oh come on come on please she this could be the child that she does you know that would be the that would be the child that um could help her you know repair her motherhood wound because she didn't do a good job on her first couple of kids so Bryant will be the the, the makeup child or something right change Bryant's diaper thank you yeah come on Allison change his diaper go on nice I know things didn't go too well but I I want you to be happy too Allison you deserve to be happy okay I know this baby is super stinky right now. He's such a cutie pie, though. All right. <laughs> oh my gosh! Stop it! Right. Oh, so he's sad because he's hungry. He's stinky. He is sleepy. So you have to be on mommy duty this evening. So you're gonna give him a give him a bottle. I know. I know, pumpkin, I know. And then Mama Mama Allison is going to get you a bottle, okay? Right, Bryant. <laughs> I don't know who put you outside. <laughs> Oh, Alison is going to be like, she just needs to be there for it all. Okay. And I'm really going to say she did not enjoy her first set of pregnancies. So give him a bottle. Okay, give him a bottle. Right. Yeah, give him a bottle. Alison. Oh my gosh. So Renira is asleep. Um, Honey, do you need to use the restroom? Okay, she did that. And I would urge you to... Uh, so now you want to come and feed the baby? Yeah. Now you want to come and see when the child was outside. Where it was? Come, it's so hard to find good help. Like, it's so hard to find good help. Oh, you know what? I should probably bring Elinda Massey here. This Elinda Massey is like Rhaenyra's, like like um most faithful like um lady in waiting but i mean i guess she's not a queen and i don't want to deal with too much people in my house so yeah right. yeah allison all right and put him to bed put him down okay allison no oh put brian put brian to sleep okay yeah so allison has not reached parenting level one i mean that checks out because she's a terrible parent Wait, Brian's birthday is how much days away? Wait, his birthday is today? <gasps> oh my gosh, guys! I didn't know his birthday was today! Oh, wow! 
Oh, okay. So the next time, guys, we're going to have a birthday party for Bryant, right? And then we're going to invite like GRXO and we're going to like talk uh, talk to GRXO about our problems. And then Gia is going to like offer her services, okay? And that's the plan in my head and I hope that works out. So we're still doing like the XOXO gameplay, but, uh, you know. <laughs> Like we still kind of try, I'm still kind of trying to use the whole love struck storyline kind of thing, but I'm playing with like Rhaenyra, so I've just shifted kind of like focus my POV to Rhaenyra, cause I mean I love them and I did not intend for this to be like this. Like, like I thought their relationship was gonna be easy and they'd be like walking in the gardens together and being all romantic and stuff, but they have deep seated issues and. I don't know what they need help like they need help and I'm thinking this is how I'm going to do Gia XOXO as like because to me I honestly think this whole matchmaker career should have been only ma not matchmaker per se but a romance consultant career should have been um it could have been um like partially like what's the words like um active like, I think it should have been an active career, you know? And also, let the baby go sleep. Let the baby be. All right? Are you still playing chess? Oh, you're playing chess with the lady? Okay, cool. But you don't really like to do people like that. So you go use your restroom and have some lunch. Okay, have some foodie. All right? Baby girl. Okay. All right. I know you go sleep, papa. I know, little prince. Brian, Prince Brian Targaryen. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so Renera is sleeping in her bed. Alison is sleeping in her bed. Helena is up bright and early. Did you finish doing your um your your thing? Resume. Resume your, your hoop. Okay. Because Helena is such a like a lovely character as well. She's such a sweetie pie. <sighs> I love what this person did with this build. Like, it's so good. It's such a great build. Okay, so my notification wall is full. All right, so she loves the outdoors. So she has to, like, you know, get outside and stuff. All right, guys. So, like that being said, I'm going to leave it right here on Helena. You know, going to, like, um... She's going to do her embroidery. Oh, look at who, Helena. She's in Brian's room. And she's just like, oh, she's such a good, like, what what this would be, like her, 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 her niece, her nephew, I mean, or like her, her, because it's her sister's. All right, so yeah, so he's her nephew slash half-brother. You know, because her mom will adopt the child soon. So, yeah. But she and Rhaenyra cannot be put as brothers, as, as sisters, and I don't understand that. So, let me see if I can change that. MC Relationships. Add a relationship with Sim on Lot. So, I want to add a relationship with Rhaenyra. Okay, so set Rhaenyra as Helena's sister. Right. Good. So... Uh, good, 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 good. Because I couldn't do it in, I couldn't do it in cast. It wasn't allowing me to. But anyway, guys, I just want to leave this episode right here. I am really excited about where this could possibly go. Um, that's now I want to see what Jahira is listed at right now. Yeah, so I probably have to add a relationship with her too, as like her niece. So let me see. Let me um. Let me see something. Let me see something. Um, let me see. I know you're on the toilet, kid. I'm sorry. Don't meet in invade your privacy. Let's add a relationship with Simon this lot. Um, Rhaenyra. And add family, family bits. She's not your cousin. She's your aunt. Yes. Okay. Good. So, okay. I successfully cheated that away. That's very good. Because I want them to not grow up and have like a weird re relationship. You know what I mean? That tends to happen in this game. So yeah, so Bryant is her cousin now because Rhaenyra is her auntie. So does it say that? Let's see. 
No, it doesn't. But I think I can add him. Let me just add him as her cousin. Again, because I do want him to grow up and have like a weird thing. And I want to do it now before I forget. I don't have to do this on camera. I don't know why I'm doing it on camera. But y'all know. I just want to I just want you to see what we does here. Add family relationship bits, family bits. And he is your cousin. Yeah, Jahira. Okay, cool. Cute, cute. Alright, guys. So let me just go back to Helena. Um doing her thing. Like she's such a sweetheart. All right, hi guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the first kind of like episode of this. But well, it's not even the first episode. It's like, it's like another part of the XOXO kind of thing. But I just really wanted to, to focus on the Targaryens for a while because I love Rene and I. I just really want to see where her storyline goes. And honestly, I didn't realize it was so deep. So um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I don't know if it's gonna be part of the XOX series or if I'm gonna make a new series out of it. I don't know. I'm just having fun while my modded game. While my mods, I'm waiting for mods to update and my modded game is kind of in a mess right now. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you later. Bye! <laughs>